What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace and we've got a pretty cool video today. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through all the screenshots and ratings for the 2K17 rookies that we have so far and we're going to be comparing that rating to the rating that I gave them in the offseason roster on NBA 2K16. I thought this would be really fun to do obviously all throughout the year. Ratings are something that are so subjective and people love to argue and debate about them. So all throughout the year I've had people telling me oh this guy's rated way too high this guy's rated way too low uh you know you don't know what you're talking about all this stuff about the ratings in my draft classes and roster and one of my biggest focuses this past year was to try to balance the rookie ratings with the official 2k roster so uh, i thought it would be fun to go through here see how accurately we got these ratings and uh, just go through it like that obviously there's a quick little disclaimer here we don't know how the rating system is going to work in 2k17 yet Judging by a lot of the ratings we've seen, I'm thinking it's very, very similar to the 2K16 rating system, but it's probably not exactly the same. So things could be a little bit skewed, but it'll still be fun to kind of go through here and see how accurate we got them. So first off, let's look at Ben Simmons. In NBA 2K17, Ben Simmons will have a 79 overall. In NBA 2K16, I gave him a 78 overall. And this is something I'm pretty proud that I got it within one point. Um, really, I expect those high level picks to get right up there towards 80 overall, but not quite. At the very beginning of the year, um, I had Ben Simmons at an 80, and then I moved him down to a 79, and I think the lowest I had him throughout the year was a 77, and we ended up settling on a 78. So only one overall point off. I'm pretty happy with that. I think a 79 rating for Ben Simmons in NBA 2K17 is, uh, is definitely a fair one. Number two, we're going to go over Dario Saric, and this is one guy that I didn't have in my draft class, obviously, because he wasn't in this draft class, um, but he's coming over from Croatia, and uh, he'll be playing for the Sixers this year. So this is a guy that I just put into my offseason roster. He wasn't in any draft class. In 2K17, he will be rated a 75 overall. I gave him a 73 overall in my offseason roster, so that's two points off. I don't know a ton about Dario Saric, I just know that he was a really hyped up prospect. Um, I believe he was drafted like 11th or something, somewhere around there in 2014 and they've been waiting for him to come over. So we haven't seen him play much or really any over here in the United States, so it'll be interesting to see what he does this season. Next up, we have DeJounte Murray of the Spurs, one of the biggest steals of the draft in my opinion. Can't believe he fell all the way down to the end of the first round. He is going to be a 70 overall in NBA 2K17, and I gave him a 70 overall in NBA 2K16. So, pretty happy with that one. I think that was an accurate rating. Next up, Denzel Valentine. And this was a little bit of a tricky one because he was like that middle of the first round area where in 2K16, the actual rookies, um, they were kind of fluctuating a lot once you got around there. Like some of them were like high, high 60s and maybe 70 overall. And then you had some that were up there at like 74. So Denzel Valentine's getting to 73 in 2K17. I actually have him rated as a 73 as well. I thought that was a fair one based on college experience and how much of an elite player he was in college. I think the 73 is definitely fair for him. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if he did raise that throughout the season. We'll try to speed it up here a little bit. Isaiah Whitehead for Brooklyn, a second round choice. He is going to be a 69 overall in 2K17. I actually gave him a 68 overall. So 2K17, he'll be rated one point higher. I think that's a fair rating as well. Whitehead was a really good college player. Um, and, you know, he was as a second round pick, obviously, I think he could have gone higher. There were a lot of guys in the second round this year um, that were very, very talented. One guy that really jumps out to me is like Demetrius Jackson um, and Ben Bentle and also uh, Isaiah Whitehead right here. There were a lot of guys that were like first round talents, late first round type of guys that fell in the draft. So Whitehead's definitely one of those guys and a 69 is fair for him, I believe. Uh, next up, we have Avica Zubak, and I think I'm pronouncing that right, Avica uh, Zubak or whatever, but he gave, I gave him a 68 in NBA 2K16, or no, no, I gave him a 69 in NBA 2K16, he's a 68 in 2K17, so um, 68 seems fair, I may have actually had him at a 68 at one point, but I settled in on 69 overall. 
Next up, we got Jalen Brown, third pick of the draft. He got a 74. I actually gave him a 74 as well. And 74 is a little bit, I don't know, I think that could be a little low for him. Um, he's a he's a pretty good prospect. Doesn't have too much of a jumper right now, so I think that's fair. Obviously, I thought it was fair if that's what I gave him. Um, I had him at a 75 and even a 76 earlier in the year, um, but settled in on the 74. Good rating for him. K Felder is up next. Gave him a 69 in 2K17, and I have him at a 68 in my roster. Another late second round guy. Um, glad I'm get, glad they're getting face scans for a lot of these second round guys as well, because uh, that's something you always worry about with guys drafted in the second round that they won't get a face scan. That's happened to a few guys in the past. Malachi Richardson up next. I gave him a 69. He is going to be a 69 in 2K17. Malik Beasley. This was one I got pretty far off, actually. I gave him a 71, and he's going to be a 69. They may have, I don't know, they could have underrated him a little bit. He was a really good player in his one year at Florida State. Um, I watched a lot of him being an ACC type of guy, a UVA fan. So uh, I gave him a 71. They gave him a 69. It was a little bit off on that one. This is another one, Marquise Chris, or Marquise Chris. They really underrated him, I think. As the eighth pick in the draft, they gave him only a 71. I actually gave him a 74, so that's three points off. That's the one I missed on probably the most, um, but I can't really, I don't know, I can't really complain about that. I think they definitely lowballed him a little bit with the 71 rating, um, but he is a very, very raw prospect. But for the eighth overall pick, I would expect a little bit higher than 71. Patrick McCall of Golden State. He was an early second rounder. I gave him a 68. He's going to be a 69, so one point off on that one. Steven Zimmerman of the Orlando Magic. This is one you can obviously see he did not get a face scan. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to post a tutorial of him um, so you guys can use my face creation in 2K17 if you would like to. Uh, the creative player system looks like it's going to be very, very similar, um, if not exactly the same as 2K16, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately in some areas, but that's a topic for a different video. But anyway, he, gave, he got a 67 in 2K17. I gave him a 68, so one point off on that one. As well uh torian prince he is a 71 overall in 2k17 i gave him a 71 overall so got that one and that's it right there and then there were actually a few leaks the other day that showed some rookie ratings i only caught two of them because i didn't go too in depth and obviously um, we only got some of the ratings for the top top guys on the roster so we didn't see a lot of the rookies because most of the time they're towards the bottom but I did catch the rating of the Bucks player. So Thon Maker is a 71 overall, and I gave him a 71 overall. So I nailed that one. And then as well, my man Malcolm Brogdon is super, super pumped. I saw a leaked screenshot of him. He looks amazing. And I also noticed that he got a 70 overall, and I gave him a 70 overall in 2K16. So for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good about how these ratings turned out. I hope you guys did enjoy all the work that I did in 2K16. Really, really happy with how the draft classes and the rosters worked out. And uh, really looking forward to 2K17 and stuff like that. So we're going to be getting more information about it very soon. We've gotten so many screenshots and ratings. I didn't want to make a video covering like every single rating and screenshot we've seen so far. So I decided, since I'm a draft class type of guy, I decided I would go ahead and do a video about the rookie ratings and that would kind of be relevant for my channel so hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know what you think about these ratings in 2k17 and the ratings that i gave them in 2k16 in the comment section below also i apologize for not posting too many 2k17 news videos there's just so much news going on and the guys that went to community day are covering all the main things that they saw so I don't really see too much of a point to post opinions. I basically post a lot of my thoughts on Twitter, as I've said before. So make sure if you're not following me on Twitter, you're missing out on a lot. Highly recommend you go follow me over there at Embrace Pace. The link will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys soon.